Let's look at writing comments in our code editor. Let's take a look back at the four circles example we completed in our last lesson and write some comments to describe what is happening in this code. At the beginning, we want to enter a multi-line comment describing what the code will do. We'll start with three quotation marks and then enter our comment below. Something like, this program will draw four circles in a square formation at the center of the canvas. Each circle will have a radius of 50. And I can separate this because it's a multi-line comment. We want to end our comment with three more quotation marks. Now we want to add some inline comments to describe what is happening throughout the code. Let's write our first one before we move Tracy to the starting position to let someone know while, why we're calling this command. So I can write a hashtag and then our comment, which could be move to bottom left of circle group at position negative 50, negative 100. You can see that everything written after this turns green, but all of the other lines of code are unaffected. Let's add a comment before our loop to say what the loop is doing. So I can write, draw two circles next to each other. We use this same loop at the bottom of my uh, code, so I can just copy and paste it here. Our last comment can be telling the user why we're changing positions. So I can write, move to top of circle row at position negative 50, zero. Now that you know how to write comments, add some into the circle pyramid code you wrote in the last lesson.